Welcome. Welcome to the Jenna M channel. Today we have a super fun and funny deck for you. It's a Gumshoes GX deck with 210 HP. It's a normal type deck. And I didn't know how I felt about this card quite frankly, but I think I've got it to work inside my normal type deck. A 100% normal type deck and I think it'll be a lot of fun. So let's take a look. It has the ability search the premises. Once during your turn, before your attack, you may have your opponent reveal their hand. And I'm going to show you a second card I have that will work very well with this ability, Search the Premises. For three energies, it does Headbutt Bounce for 100 damage, very decent. And its GX attack is only one energy, it is Gumshoe Chance GX, which is 10 plus. This attack does 50 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that would be really great if you go up against a Mega Mewtwo that's loaded with energies. Its retreat cost is two. Its weakness is fighting type. It has no resistance. And of course we have a Yungos, so we can start off the evolution. It has 70 HP. It's normal type. For one energy, it does tackle and it does 10 damage. For two energies, it does bite and 20 damage. It's weak to fighting. There's no resistance. Its re retreat cost is only one. In this deck, look what I put in. I thought it would be so much fun to have this Pidgeot EX full art in here. 170 HP. It's also normal type as all my cards will be because it is a normal type deck. For what energy it does, mirror move. If this Pokemon was damaged by an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does the same amount of damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And here's a nice one. For three energies, it does Featherlands. Although it only does 80 damage, take a look. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It is weak to electric type, it's resistance to fight, resistant to fighting, and its retreat cost is one energy. I love this card actually. Oh. Here's something you don't see every day. This is from XY. This is a Tauros. You're gonna see an identical card from a different set too. 110 HP, it is a normal type. For one energy, it does takedown. This Pokemon does 10 damage to itself, but it does 30 damage. Now, it may not seem appealing if this Pokemon does 10 damage to itself, but take a look at Seething Anger for 30 times and three energies. Flip a coin for each damage counter on this Pokemon. This attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. Not bad at all, right? Its weakness is fighting type, it has no resistance, its retreat cost is two. And also in this deck is a Tauros GX, HP 180 and it's a normal type as well. I do use it a lot in my Pokemon Sun and Moon decks just because it really does round out the deck very nicely and it's a normal type and so on. For two energies it does Rage. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon and it does 20 plus damage. For two energies it does Horn Attack for 60. For two energies also it does its GX attack which is Mad Bull GX for 30 times damage. This attack does 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Its weakness is Fighting type, its resistance is nothing. But its retreat cost is three energies which means you have to add an energy to retreat. However, I've seen some people use the ninja card after their main um, Pokemon has been attacked and is badly damaged. And then they ninja in with Ninja Boy, this Taurus GX, to do some awesome damage. Also in this deck is the other Taurus I spoke of, which was identical to the previous one, the previous uh, XY one. This is from Generations, and it's identical to the previous one I spoke of before. And it, take a look at this one. It's Lugia EX Full Art, HP 170, it's normal type. For two energies, it does Arrow Ball and 20 times damage. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So it can do some serious damage. For four energies, it does Deep Hurricane for 80 plus damage. If there is any Stadium card in play, this attack does 70 more damage. Then discard that Stadium card. It is weak to electric, resistant to fighting. Its re retreat cost is two energies. Now let's take a look at a few of our trainer cards. Here's Energy Retrieval, Escape Rope, Versus Seeker Secret Rare, Max Elixir, Energy Retrieval again, Professor's Letter, Versus Seeker, Aspertia City Gym, which I like to use with a normal type deck. Each normal type Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponent gets plus 20 HP more, so it's nice to have. Professor Birch's Observations, Wally. Again, Professor Birch's Observations, Skyla, Lysander, 
Brock's Grit. Shuffle six in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Super useful. Again, Pokemon Center Lady. Team Flare Grunt. Winona, which is great for a normal type deck. And what this does is search your deck for up to three normal type Pokemon. It can be base, it can be stage one, it can be stage two, it can be break, whatever. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. Awesome. Here's Muscle Band. In terms of energies, I have some double colorless energies in this deck. I also have some dark type energies in case I want to mimic a dark type move. I also have fairy type energies in my deck in case my opponent puts out the stadium card called Fairy Garden, which gives free retreat to any cards with fairy energy attached. So let's find an opponent now, shall we? All right, game on. And we're paired up right away with someone. It is Jaywalk2258 with a Fighting Steel and Normal Type deck. So good luck, Jaywalk, and let's have some fun. We're going to call the coin flip using our Pikachu coin. We choose heads. And Jaywalk2258 gets to decide who will go first. Hey, it's our turn, and that's not bad at all. Oh, great. Okay. He has no Pokemon, and he'll take a mulligan after, after we set up our play, which means we get to draw an extra card as his penalty for having no basic Pokemon. We start off with Young Goose. Oh, it's a great beginning for sure. Okay, let's put it out. 70 HP. It does Tackle and Bite, but look, we have Wally here, so we can evolve on our very first turn. Escape Rope. Oh, let's see. Switch. Steel Energy. Scissor Spirit Link, Fighting Fury Belt, Nest Ball, Double Colorless Energy, and Great Ball as well. So this is what Jaywalk has in his hand right now. He's going to reshuffle those and draw seven new cards. Hopefully he'll find himself a basic. He's found one. There's his starting Pokemon. And look, two on his bench. Here come his prize cards. And now we get to, to draw a bonus card because, oh my gosh, it's a Gumshoes GX. All right. Oh, look. So we're, it's got Young Goose head to head with Agron EX with Steel Headbutt and Raging Hammer. On the bench is a Lugia EX Full Art. And there's Cabalion. So um, let's get started, shall we? Let's put out a Fairy type energy. It looks great. We can use our Wally card right now to evolve immediately to Gumshoes GX. Let's do something awesome right now oh my gosh are you ready for a are you ready for, wait for it it's time for a gx evolution oh that's great and it's gumshoes gx okay we can put out our aspertia city gym card but i am not ready to do that quite yet especially keeping in mind that lugia ex is a normal type pokemon I say, rather than doing, well, obviously we're not going to do Gumshoe Chance GX because our opponent needs to have energy attached. So why don't we just end a turn here and we're doing well. Gumshoe's GX, Aspertia City Gym Stadium card, Escape Rope, Team Flare Grunt, Wally and Winona, and Ag Agron EX is just added a Steel Type Energy to the card. All right, so it's our turn. Oh my gosh, let's attack. We can just attach an, a dark type energy to ourselves. We can do search the premises. I didn't do it on the other turn, but here, we're gonna do it now. Search the premises and we're gonna look at his hand. Steel type energy. He has a Steelix spirit link and a Mega Steelix EX full art. Looks great. All right. Do we pop off his energy, which will definitely irritate him? Or do we allow him to hold on to his energy so we can do gumshoe chance? I say, oh, let's use Winona right now. Winona will allow me to call out three normal type Pokemon of my choice. Oh, there's so many good choices. There's a Pidgeot EX. We can get out another Young Goose and a Gumshoe's GX. Oh my gosh, Orangoru. Which one's your favorite? Leave it in the comments below. Do I put out a Lugia EX? Do I put out a Pidgeot EX full art? They're both full arts are actually. Or do I put out, oh my gosh, the, the choices are so hard. 
just going to take a look at the playmat. There is a Gumshoes GX, so why don't we just take out a Young Goose to go with that Gumshoes GX. And let's just bring them into our hand. Remember, we do have the escape rope here, so we can always put ourselves back into position if we're moved out of position. Ligia EX Full Art come to the bench. Pidgeot EX Full Art come to the bench. And of course, Young Goose EX come to the bench. We could even use our Wally card on their next turn, although we, there's no need for it. We have our Gumshoes GX here ready for evolution. And let's just end our turn here. It needs a double colorless energy to do steel headbutt for 50 plus flip a coin of heads. This attack does 30 more damage. So there is a second energy attached to Jaywalk 2258. Oh, a dark type energy. Okay. So let's attach it to Gumshoes DS. We can put out Aspertia City Gym to give us an extra 20 HP. Now our choice is this. We can evolve to Gumshoes GX right now for a GX. Evolution! The second Gumshoes GX. We can use Search the Premises twice. Not that it you would do it twice, but here we go. Let's search and see what we find. Steelix Spirit Link. Mega Steelix CX Full Art and a Steel Type Energy. Now we can just pop off his energy, which probably would be the best choice right now. So why don't we use our Team Flare Grunt to do that? It's Gumshoes GX versus Agron EX. And why don't we just do a Headbutt Bounce for 100. Boom! Oh, that must have hurt. Gumshoes Chance GX would be great to play as soon as he puts on a double colorless energy. He's putting another energy on. There we go. There's really no point to go and do Gumshoes Chance because it will only... This attack does 50 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it'll do 110 damage. I have a few choices. Why don't we use... I don't... Do I use Professor Birch's Observations? I don't really need... To, I want this escape rope here. Let's just go and finish Agron EX. And sorry, um, Agron EX fans. Here we go. Here comes Headbutt. Headbutt bounce again. Finishing Agron EX. I have a feeling we're going to go head to head with Lugia EX soon. And I don't savor that thought. Here's our two well deserved prize cards it's a Skyla and our own double color, colorless energy. This is the, the state of affairs in our hand right now. And this is the state of affairs on our bench. And was I right or was I right? It's Lugia EX. We have our own. And it's our turn. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's so many choices. Oh my god. Like, we have our Versus Seeker that we could use. What else do we have in our discard pile? Winona, Wally. What would I even choose? Oh my gosh. Okay, so why don't we just use our Versus Seeker Secret Rare to pull out Team Flare Grunt. There it is. It's a nice tricky card. I love tricky cards. I'm going to take my double color this energy and attach it to one of my Pokemon. He's not very rich with energy, but I'm going to go and attach it to my Gumshoes GX again. Skyla, what do I need from Skyla? You know, maybe I'll use Skyla right. Mm. No, what? I'm going to save my. Mm. Okay, no. You convinced me. I'm going to use Skyla right now to bring up Professor Birch's... Not even Professor Birch's observations. For Professor's letter. That will come into my hand. There we go. Okay, let's search the premises right now. Usual suspects and also a Versus Seeker and Pokemon Center Lady. So it's good to know. Alright, so why don't we do a headbutt... Bounce again for 100 damage to the FDX. Boom. If you have a double colorless energy, it could really help you tremendously right now. So, oh, he's using Professor's Letter. Well, what are you going to do with it? Two still type energies. And he's attached one to Cabalion that is Quick Guard and Revenge Blast. Right now, we can go and use our Max Elixir to look for an energy in the top six cards of her deck. There we go, and I'm going to attach a Fairy-type energy, why not, 
to Lugia EX because it seems to be a Lugia game right now. We can use Professor's letter right now to look for two energies. We'll take this fairy type energy and one dark type straight into my hand. And we'll put a fairy type energy to Gumshoes GX, the one that's benched, the second Gumshoes GX. All right, let's go and finish Lugia EX using Headbutt Bounce. Boom. Goodbye, Lugia EX Full Art. We take two well-deserved prize cards again. It's a dark type energy and it's Young Goose. And we're head to head with Kabalion. Let's have a read. It does quick guard. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Okay. Well, that's all I need to know. And it does revenge blast. 30 plus. This attack does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Okay. I have a feeling we're going to be blasted by revenge right now. Yeah, that was some revenge straight at us. I'm going to go and attach an energy right now to a second energy to Lugia EX. I can go, oh, I'm going to go and use um, Team Flare Grunt to pop off one of the energies from Kabalion. As I said, I'd love to use Gumshoe Chance GX, but it just doesn't make sense when the Headbutt Bounce does already 100 attack. All right, so why don't we go and right now, oh, I don't think I need to switch it out. Let's search the premises again and see what we find on the premises. Steelix Spirit Link, Mega Steelix EX, Versus Secret, Pokemon Center Lady, and two Steel Type Energies. All right, here comes another Head Butt Bounce to Port Valium. And again, Quick Guard will not protect against Evolution Pokemon. And of course, Gumshoes GX is an Evolution Pokemon. I just noticed that muscle band there. Why did I not notice it before? I could have just finished Cobalion EX. Sorry, it's not even an EX. I could have finished Cobalion. I won't make that mistake again. He's using the Pokemon Center Lady. Here comes Revenge Blast knocking out that Gumshoes GX. But where there's one Gumshoes GX, there's a second copy ready to go. And this time I'm going to go and put a Muscle Band straight onto Gumshoe's GX, which I should have done before. We're going to search the premises again and see what else we can find. What is new here? Energy Retrieval and Talon Flame. Stage 2. Ability Gale Wings. All right. We can put out Young Goose right now. We can use Wally to evolve it straight to Gumshoes GX. And we're going to be seeing a triplicate Gumshoes GX. GX Evolution! Oh, that was great. Okay, so we're going to start. You know, I'm going to just give Lugia some love and give him the dark type energy. Okay, now this will do 120 damage with head butt bounce. Here we go. Sorry, Cabalion fans. And we take our second last prize card. It is a Tauros GX, which is ready to rage and do Mad Bull GX. And we're face to face with Alolan Diglett and also Gumshoes GX. It's attached to energy. What are you going to do? Mud Slap? Hmm, look at the top three cards of your deck and put them back in any order. That is an energy less attack. And it's our turn. I feel very sad to do this. I'll put out Tauros GX just f in the spirit of fun. Because obviously we're going to knock out poor Lolan Diglett. But here we go. One last headbutt bounce. And, oh, our prize is Tauros GX and we win. What do we win? Find out in a second. It's one coin and one prize box. Twenty-five coins, not too shabby at all. Trainers tokens twelve. Mystery box one. Bonus will reward one. All right. Show me the prizes. Oh, we're close to collecting a whole bunch of coins. Awesome. So, what did you think of this Gumshoes GX deck? 
I had a lot of fun with it. And as I mentioned before, you can really go and use the ability to search the premises with a Team Skull Grunt card because you can just see your opponent's cards and see if they have energies to discard so you don't actually waste the Team Skull Grunt card. I didn't put it in there because I didn't want um, to discard energies to my opponent so they can take it out with an energy retrieval card, but here's a way you can use it. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, would you just take a moment to give us a thumbs up? We're very, very thankful for every thumbs up you leave us when you put a kind or supportive comment below. And when you press the subscribe button at the bottom right, it really helps our channel grow and we are very thankful for each and every one of you. Last question of the video, should we keep doing Pokemon TCGO, that's Pokemon Trading Card Game Online Games every single Monday? If so, leave it in the comments below or simply vote with a thumbs up and we'll keep making these battles every single week. Thanks for watching and bye.